Good morning. It's Monday and I needed an extra large coffee to start my week. I had to work at Walgreens yesterday from three to midnight. So, but it went by fast, honestly, but I was working really hard. Um, and Mother's Day was great. Uh, we brought Joy out and uh, we had so much fun. And it's funny, Al afterwards texts me, he's like, can we go out with Joy more often? She's a lot of fun. And somebody asked her out on a date. <laughs> Joy still got it at 93, almost 94. And he asked her out for lobster, but she doesn't like lobster or seafood. And so then he said he'd take her out for a steak. But um, yeah, we'll see. She doesn't want to go. <laughs> She's like, I don't date. <laughs> and he has to be approved by me, so. You gotta get through me first. But, um, so I was gonna tell you, there is a road trek for sale right by my mom's house. And every time I drive by it, I keep looking at it. And I think we're gonna go right now and go check it out. So I got my um, air conditioner. Uh, it's called Zero Breeze. And I want to, I've been talking to Al, thank goodness for Al. I am learning so much like about electronic stuff or how things work when, you know, I'm not very technical, but it's actually been fun to learn how these things work and, you know, and he explains it in a very um, layman's way, laywoman's way um, that I get it, I can connect it. Uh, so, and this one, I want to set the air conditioner up so it's like permanently up. And it's kind of getting the creative juices because this is how I was when I was redoing the van. Because I want to put a little table back here that I can put it on because the tubes have to like be towards uh, like a window because it needs to suck air in, uh, if that makes sense. That's, <laughs> that's my technical terms. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, that's going to be fun to like even try and figure out. It's funny, I'm excited about that. And then I'll have a permanent like air conditioner. And like Al said, Al said his goal and it's mine too. But I'm so happy to have somebody who helps me and it's fun to do it together. Like I said, we laugh all the time. Is to be like self-contained where I don't have to plug in, but I'll have all these luxuries. You know, I have a full air conditioner right there but it doesn't work unless I plug in. So, um, so yeah, I'm at my storage unit right now. I had to drop the air conditioner off and then I'm doing an e-bike review today. Um, I was still up early, hence the big coffee. Uh, and I think I just might ride the e-bike from here to the lake to do it. Um, but yeah, lots of that kind of stuff going on. I'm gonna do another review tomorrow because it's supposed to be nice today and tomorrow, and then it looks like rain the rest of the week. So I gotta do these when the weather permits. But yeah, what am I thinking? Like if I buy another road trek, I'm thinking about, well, I'm not thinking about it, I'm just looking. Because I thought it would be fun to flip a road trek. Like do what I kinda did to this one, like decorate it and whatever. And, um, but I'm crazy. So we're just gonna go look. Let's go see if it's still there and let's go look, okay? Because I have to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym and do just a small workout, take a shower, and then uh, figure out my review. Oh, and another e-bike came in. So I got to pick that up tonight. What else? Oh, I got a new power pack, an oops. Remember I had the oops before? It was a 1500 watt. Now I have an 1800 watt. So... If I'm not working, I'm working. Okay, let's go look at that road track. I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of scared because I'm afraid I'll say, I'll take it. Okay, let's go see if it's still there. And before I forget, I'm driving uh, just through my storage parking lot. They're working on the gate, so I had to turn around and go out the in one. But anyway, uh, I think I forgot to tell you that uh, Al, my old boyfriend from high school, high school, like 30 years ago. I haven't seen Bruce probably since then, since I was like 20, 21 maybe. Um, and we have a good rapport, uh, but 
uh, he does fiberglass and painting. And so um, Al sent him a video of Charlene and the door and he said he can fix it. He can patch it. So I feel like Charlene's like Humpty Dumpty and I'm just trying to put her back together again. Uh, and Sarge said that he could find a hubcap. So hopefully that, and then I didn't tell you. <laughs> Oops. I was, you know, none of this happens when I'm on the road. It's so weird. It always happens when I'm home. Um, I was backing up, I was at the gym and I didn't see that there was like a, you know, this big yellow pole behind me. And uh, it tore my, um, it didn't do anything to the tire back there. You know, the spare I have on the back, but it tore my Adventures Over 50 cover. Um, but that was fading anyway. It's like every year I get a new one because the sun fades it. So I had to order a new one of those because it got torn because I backed into something and it got caught. So, yep, hopefully Charlene will be all, yeah, and I'm thinking about redoing a new one. I <laughs> just focus. Charlene has enough to take care of herself. Oh, and I was going to tell you too. Squirrel! Um, Charlene has been running like a charm and I think whatever was happening with the security system, because you know, none of that happened the first year. I think it's been resolved because I think she was too sensitive. There was something going on where even like if loud noise went by and it could be even far away, it would start chirping. And Al said too, it seems like, like that's too sensitive and that hasn't been happening. And so, um, and it's, Charlene has been running great lately. So, um, yeah, knock on wood. But, yeah, I don't know. It seems to be resolved. Because I think that was the problem. So, okay. Let's go look at maybe Charlene, too. It's a pie-in-the-sky idea, but I just want to see it. Oh, I don't have my seatbelt. Okay, gotta go. There it is. And it's also a 190 versatile, but it's a lot newer one than mine. And I don't know from the top, I don't know if that's solar or what, but I'm gonna go take a game. So it says it's already been remodeled. It's a 2007 and 83,000 miles. That's what Charlene has right now. And it's 68,000. So, I wonder what I could get for Charlene if this one's going for 68. Charlene's only, what, six years older? And has the same amount of mileage? Let's see, what does that say? Fully remodeled, custom something. I can't read in there. Let me see if I can I look in there. I couldn't show you because the blackout windows, so it was just reflecting back. But, oh my gosh, $68,000. And it's like the original. It says it's fully upgraded or whatever, or fully remodeled. It still has the old wood. I saw a broken blind behind the kitchen sink. I saw rubber coming off the side of the frame of the window across from on the driver's side and uh is carpet everywhere i wonder what i could get for charlene like i said charlene has 82 like five and charlene is way better looking than that like i said it's the old like wood um and some people like that i know that but that did not look fully uh, remodeled. Um, so yes, no, I won't be buying that, but $68,000. I bought Charlene for 27 and I knew I got a good deal. Like I said, I was the first one to call. I was the first one to see it. I saw it the next day and I even offered him like a couple thousand dollars less. And he's like, Oh, sorry, I can't take that. Cause it was already a good deal. And there were new tires on it and new brakes. And so I just said, yes, because I knew if I didn't take it, the next person was going to take it. And um, and I put, you know, I put a lot, I redid everything and now upgrading everything. I wonder how much Charlene would go for. Just a thought. But yeah, no. $68,000 for that. Hmm. 
Tracy won't be remodeling. This is fully remodeled. I would go in there and tear everything out. I'd tear the carpet out. I'd tear, talk about a remodel. <laughs> okay, well, that makes me feel better. Now I don't have to worry about doing that. Okay, let's go. Good morning. So I don't even know what the last thing that I recorded was. Uh, I've just been running around so much. I worked till midnight, 3 to midnight on Sunday, and oh, we went to see the road trek. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. Anyway, so now I am headed back to the storage. <laughs> yesterday, uh, it was nice. I was going to do a review of the bike yesterday, but I just ran out of time, and so what I did... Sometimes it's hard doing things by yourself. I mean, not hard, just more work. But, um, so I went to the storage. I rode the e-bike that I'm gonna review today to Joy's. And then I walked back to my storage because that's where the van was. And then I was supposed to pick up another e-bike last night. It got delivered to um, people when I was on the road. They accidentally delivered it there. Uh, but I'm going to pick that up tonight now. Uh, so yeah, so just a lot of running around. I feel bad that these are kind of boring vlogs, but I'm just trying to take care of stuff. And, um, but then, what's the date? It's like the 16th, I think. And, uh, Joy and I, it's funny, somebody said, they said that that was not condescending, but what is it? Like disrespectful to call my mom Joy. But I love the word Joy. I love the name Joy. And you guys know her as Joy. And, I mean, she's my mom. We all know that. But, uh, yeah, I like to... Joy fits her perfectly. And, oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I was supposed to turn there. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I am going to my storage place. Oh, and then Joy and I are going to go in... Um, 24th. So what is it? The 17th? The 16th? Is that next week? Shoot. <laughs> it's next week. So next week we're flying to uh, Seattle. Sorry I dropped you. But so I am turning around and it's interesting because I'm turning around right where that road trek was that I saw. And uh, the road trek is gone. So I wonder if they sold it or they just took it off because uh so I'm so glad that I stopped yesterday to look at it because it's gone today. That's interesting. I wonder if they got 68,000 for it. Al said there must be a bowling alley in there or something for 68,000. So intriguing. Okay, well, I'm just kind of getting on with my day. We're stopping at Joy's because that's where the thing is. So uh, I'll let you see Joy. We're going to have coffee with her before um, we go do the review. So I'll check in soon. I'm at my storage and thank goodness I got this storage. Uh, I'm gonna show you what's coming up though. Well, first of all, I bought a new makeup chair, which I've been meaning to do for years. But looking at it, so that's the new one. And that's the old one, I lost the cup holder there. This one is a lot nicer, but I'm gonna donate it. And um, yeah, this is one smaller, it's easier, I guess, to carry around. Um, but here is the air conditioner that's coming up. And uh, I am working on making it permanent in the van. So I am actually excited about that. And then I don't know if I'll have shown the review on this, but I am bringing this today. And Al is going to, so this is a battery, like a, lithium battery and then but it has a charging port in it so you can like take this out anyway I have a review coming on that and so um Al's gonna hook this up to my battery in the back so I have more power which I'm looking forward to also so yeah so I just dropped stuff off at the Goodwill and now I'm just gonna take a twirl in there like you get rid of stuff and then you get more stuff. 
but I got to meet Ella Joyce in like 20 minutes. So it's a quick run through. Ooh, thank you. So Elle helped me do my review for the bike and uh, it's in Joyce's living room. It's hot here and uh, Elle is fixing her sliding door because it was completely off the thing. But I'll show you the view from Joyce. Um, Al's working on that. But she's got nice I was just talking about those trees that blossom. They're so pretty and they smell so good. She's got a little view down here. And Joy isn't here because she's at the eye doctor. So she was excited. I know she didn't want to get her hopes up, but we're waiting to hear if they have those shots that will help her with her eyesight. So fingers crossed, I'll let you know. So it's about, oh, it's six o'clock and still not done with the day. Um, Elle and I went and had pizza and then we just picked up another e-bike. It got sent to the neighbor's house. I had a, a dress first when I left Florida, other than FedEx. And this one is the one that looks like a motorcycle, which I wasn't expecting that. So, uh, and it weighs 95 pounds, like in the box, um, not put together, you know, with everything in there. So, yeah. So now Al and I, oh, oh boy, are going to the storage again today. And I didn't, I forgot too, tomorrow I have a makeup job goodness my photographer wrote me and it's actually close to me which never happens um, it's for health partners and uh, it's only from 10 to noon which is nice but good thing he told me because uh, I have to get my makeup out of my storage place and I'm sweating so yeah so we're going to the storage place to do all that and then I am going and hunkering down and uh, making it an early night because it's been, I was going to say quite the day, but it's the past two days and I'm thinking, oh, the past three days, oh, just life. <laughs> okay, I'll come back and uh, wrap it up for tonight. So I'm almost to my storage place. Okay. Okay. It's like 8 p.m. It's been a long, I was going to say a long day, but a long, a uh, long couple weeks. And I was thinking, I looked at the calendar today and I think I, I don't even know what I've talked about. Sorry, since Monday. And, uh, Joy and I leave next Thursday to go to Seattle. So there'll be an adventure there. Sorry if these are kind of boring, but this is just real life that I have to take care of, you know, when I'm home. And so, yeah. Uh, Joy and Tracy go to Washington will be the subject of uh, next weekend's uh, adventure. And then after that, the next week, then I go to Seattle and then I'll drive back home in the Hyundai. So a couple adventures coming up and yeah, and then I plan once I get back home to actually go do some adventures. I miss them. So I'll get a little taste of driving back home, driving cross country in a car this time. That'll be interesting. And then when I get back home, I'm gonna look for things to do. Now that I'm not doing the waitressing thing, I have more time. And it's funny because even though I'm not like working, working, like like a Walgreens, like a job like that, I'm always working. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to bed because now I have makeup tomorrow. Uh, which I'm happy about. I have all stopped and got all my makeup stuff back there. And yeah, so I'm going to leave you here. Okay? Okay. So you know what to do. Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van, although I think you will love it. I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world right now. And I know maybe it's just a chapter. Maybe at some point I'll get sick of it. But right now, I still love it. And I think I love it even more now than I did when I started. So, and go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare forget your magic. And 
I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.